Thank you so much for joining us. It's great to have you on V Entertainment. Thank you for having me, Lola. Now, we want to find out what brings you to South Africa. <laughs> what brings me to South Africa? Yeah. The people, mm -hmm. the music, the culture, the history. South Africa is a, is a country that my wife and I, the last time we were here was 17 years ago, okay. in 1994. Right. And, and we were, I think the first time was 92, and just fell in love with the country. When we came here initially, we said, you know, one day we'd like to bring our kids here yeah. and introduce them to the country. So this is our first chance to, That's great. to do that. That's great. was the, the year you got married, also in New South Africa. That's so right. So a lot has changed. That's right, yes. You know, it, it was such a, an, a fascinating time. You know, I, I liken it to, in America, our, in the 1960s, with our civil rights movement, where right. there was so much change, it was, um, and there's so much emotion, and, and, right. and politics, and passion, and uh, volatility, and, and change, and everything that comes with change, good and bad. That's true. Um, yeah. But it's electric. It was an electric time. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember that. It's a different time now. It's different, different challenges. Um, in some ways, it's, it seems as though more complicated. You know, then there was apartheid, and you knew this, there were certain things that needed to be changed, and there were certain things that were right and certain things that were wrong, and many people were, were up for that battle. And, right. and now it's more subtle and nuanced, uh, like it is in America. But speaking of, of apartheid, I mean, we're going to go to uh, 1989 when you were co-founded um, ANSO. Is... You've done your homework. Look at I you. Have, I have. <laughs> I have. <laughs> um, tell us more about your involvement as co-founder of yeah. ANSO. I, I was approached by a very dear friend of mine, Alfred Woodard, right. uh, who's an actress, a uh, terrific actress, and has been here a number of times. And, and at the time, in 1989, she said, we have to come together as, as a community of artists. And whenever a camera is in our face or microphone is in our face, you know, we can promote whatever we have to promote, but also let's keep a focus on South Africa. At that, yeah. that point, Nelson Mandela and, and those that are imprisoned. And, um, you know, still to this day, whenever we can as artists, you know, raise money for either its medical supplies or part of the, this, a number of different uh, programs that are going on here on the ground, um, you know, we try to do that attention and, you know, hands on tangible finances. Um, you know, so that's, that's what we've been attempting to do. Now, you've been here, like you said, um, twice before. Mm -hmm. Have you had uh, an opportunity to travel around South Africa? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, the last time, Cape Town. So we're going to go to Cape Town tomorrow, spend okay. a few days, and then uh, to Zambia, which I've never been to. Okay. Of course, not South Africa, but it's, uh, yeah. it's close. And I've yeah. been, I've, so I always hear about Victoria Falls. Every time I hear, you have to see Victoria Falls. You have to see Victoria Falls. This is what, I, this is what everybody yeah, says. You're going to take the, the Zambian side of it because there's also the Zimbabwe side of it. Right, but I understand yeah. you can take the you can walk across the bridge to Zimbabwe. I don't think you want to do that. Okay, I haven't seen This is what I'm hearing. <laughs> this is what somebody from you Zimbabwe told me. Right? What is one of your most memorable roles that you've played? Wow. I'd have to say it's kind of what really got my foot in the door in, in Hollywood, which was a show called L.A. Law. Just television. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, I mean, that's what brought me to South Africa. The fact that I could come because I knew the show was popular here. And, you know, so uh, there was, uh, you know, a reason to come. And people would kind of know you from somewhere they saw on TV. Yeah. You know, there are films like Just Cause, which I, I had an incredible time doing with Sean Connery and Lawrence Fishburne and, mm -hmm. and others. And, uh, and, and, you know, I did a series last year called The Event, where I played the president of the United yes. States. And mm -hmm. just finished a film two weeks ago, wrapped a film for the big screen. And, and I'm most excited about. Um, I'm about to have my Broadway debut in New York. Oh wow! Because um, you've done you. I mean, you graduated, uh, well, you majored in musical theatre. Am mm -hmm. I correct? Um, and then straight after that, it was. Are you reading notes over there? You do you remember all of that? No, I'm a ninja. You see, I've been trying to explain to everybody around here I'm that saying. I am a ninja. Like I am not <laughs> Japanese for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> That's impressive. You're like, how do you know all that stuff? <laughs> I'm sorry, I cut you. I no, cut you no, off. No, so, yeah, because I was going to ask you, what is your, what are your next, uh, what are your new plans for yeah. the rest of 2011 and 2012? So Broadway. That's the next of Broadway. Broadway, and we're doing it. The show a, called. The show is called A Streetcar Named Desire, written by Tennessee Williams. Yeah. Yeah. I started in theater, and whenever I can, I mean, the film and television took off for me. Right. Thank God, because I didn't pay the bills. <laughs> yeah. theater, theater doesn't pay that well, usually. Uh, but that is my first love, to get back on the board. But he's not trying to just hearten those out there that are, you know... No, not, not at all, but I'm, say, <laughs> but I'm being... The film and television pays better. That's all I'm saying. Look, you're on a TV show, you know. But I still want to raise. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Right. <laughs> she still wants to raise. I'm kidding. She's good. She's always working. Well, you also featured in the in the movie Tyler Perry's movie uh, Medea's Family Reunion, which we loved. Go on, Ninja. Go on, Ninja. <laughs> <laughs> um, tell me, what was it like working with him? 
Oh, he's terrific. Yeah, yeah Tyler. He's been here a number of times with yeah. Oprah's yeah. school here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, no, he's, he's great. He's, he's a multitasker, which I appreciate. Right. Um, I tend to do a lot of different things at once, but he's taken it to a whole other level. He's a businessman. He's a writer, producer, actor. How do you feel about him not getting an Oscar nod for the film for Color Girls? Well, I haven't seen Color Girls, but, you know, I tell you, when it comes to awards, yeah. um, most often it's, it's, uh, it's not a fair game. But it's it's an honor, I'm sure. Yeah. If you, I may have won one, but I'm sure it would be an honor. Well, I mean, but it is. It is. It's 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 uh, you know it's the, the apex of our of our industry in Absolutely. terms of acknowledgement. So it's a great thing. But in terms of how it happens and who it happens for, they don't always coincide and yeah. correlate to each other. Talent yes. and recognition. You've walked away with. You won a Grammy. <laughs> you won. He won a Grammy. Um, now, I have to say, now, the Grammy was for spoken word. Yes. So I wasn't singing. So people are like, I know that brother could sing. <laughs> so no, I don't sing. It was for uh, best spoken word in 2008. It's been great chatting to you. Great to, oh, to thank finally you. You know, hear from the man and get into your, into your mind. It's been absolutely great. Thank oh, you so thank much. You. And thank you for speaking Japanese to my son. Oh, absolutely. He's amazing. <laughs> He's amazing. I'm sure he'll go far. I, I hope so. I hope Enjoy so. Enjoy Cape Town. I will.